Hello, today is May 3rd, Tuesday. Thank you, price action. I want to show another uh, pattern that I use quite often. So on this one here, what I'm looking for a strong or significant move. And after I see that, then I will do my channel line. So this right here so far, we are having a nice strong down move here. So I am doing my channel right now based off this area here. And if I sometimes can't find too much level here, then I use top area here too. So after I have my channel, then I wait the moving average, uh, 25 exponential, the price. I wanted to see the price cross the 25 move, uh, exponential moving average. And then I wanted to come back underneath. So that way the buyers um, will be trapped here. So that's what I'm looking for. So you always want to see a rejection from the moving average line, in this case 25 exponential. And once you see that right here, I see that uh, rejection bar, then I enter. And I put break even and it uh, exit me out on this one. So when this happens like this, then I will wait and then see uh, what the price is gonna, going to do. Now I see that nice uh, uh, bullish bar here that price may uh, continue go up from here. I mean, you never know. So the better to wait and then see another failure if the price wants to go down. So right now I have this level here, uh, 50 SMA line. So, so far the price is uh, printed, a, printed a red bar here. but the price needs to close under the uh, 50 uh, moving average. And then I wanted to see the price also uh, close under the um, 25 exponential. Okay, so the price crossed Order under held. 25, so I entered the trade. After seeing this bar here, target signal build. bar, and it reached my target. So I had a $400 target. And today was price was pretty choppy. So I, I really didn't want to wait the trace too long. So I, I took the profits uh, pretty early. Okay, so on this one here, the same thing. So we have a significant down move here, this move. And the channel here, you need to uh, pay attention as the price continue uh, print bars, you need to keep adjust your channel. So this channel is uh, too narrow to for us. So it doesn't give us too much room here for us to enter a trade. So I was trying to find another way to make this channel a little bit uh, more better for our setup. So 
so that way we have the moving average uh, is coming from the top of the channel and we can look for a failure pattern right around you know this this zone here or it can be around here usually um, the previous highs higher highs or these points it can be tested and then you can see the failure here and you always need to remember you need to have that significant drop so if you don't have this uh, strong push then this setup is not gonna work and you need to be able to uh, you know do this channel lines and then you will find the bottom um, area here where the price is bouncing off and then you use the other side the high of the move just like that so we have that uh, that's what I wanted to see I wanted to see the price uh, pushing the moving average so that way the buyers think that the price is gonna go up and they enter the trades so this bar here actually trapped them order filled and that is actually my signal bar also right stop filled and in this case here it exited me out because I Order moved my stop loss too low so I re-entered here after seeing this uh, week here like that usually it is better when you put your stop loss above your um, bar here uh, that signal bar target filled and you reach my target again on this bottom level here and the, yeah this move some like some days it can really go down uh, but because of the price action today was so choppy it was really uh, lots of big wicks in here so I really wanted to take the profits on the base most of the time And yeah, that is the signal bar there. And right here, once you use this channel, then uh, disregard this channel. You know, just uh, I only use this channel like one time. Once I use this, then it is uh, finished. For I will look for another setup. Okay, same thing. Uh, same thing here. Uh, we have a nice strong um, push down, and now I'm waiting to price cross the moving average, and then come about uh, above here, and then I want to see some failure and trap some buyers, and then I will try to catch for down move. Okay, so the buyers are trying to push the price above the moving average. They just managed to push the price. And you always wanted to see uh, a signal bar or you wanted to see the price come back under the 25 moving average okay so they push it till the 50 moving average this yellow line is 50 SMA line ok 
okay this bar is nicely printed so far it got rejected from 50 so once i see this cross on the 25 i enter right here it didn't accept my uh, adjustment on the loss limit line and I move my target like around $700 profit and then when I see this hesitation I move back up to around 500 target so bill. yeah around 500 there the base of this here Yeah, and the price actually went um, down a little bit more and that was the signal bar there crossing that 25 moving average. And this was, yeah, big jump after here it was like a v recovery there yeah um that is um the pattern that i wanted to point out and i use this a lot so uh, when you see a strong down like this you just pay attention and you can do your channel and watch out that 25 exponential moving average and uh, you wanted to see a failure above it and then right over there then you will get your setup i hope this helps uh, to someone and i will see you on the next video